right, folks. I'd like to take this opportunity to answer some questions that have puzzled drivers for hundreds of years. Like, is there any advantage to using nitrogen instead of compressed air in my tires? Yes. Will I notice improved fuel economy? Well, as a direct result of putting nitrogen in your tires, yes and no. Nitrogen will not improve fuel economy by itself, but nitrogen keeps tires at their proper inflation pressure longer, and proper pressure means better gas mileage. So, indirectly, well, you might see slightly better miles per gallon. Will I notice a smoother ride? Probably not. Will my tires last longer? Yes, but only because nitrogen will maintain proper pressure longer, and proper pressure means longer tire life. Will I save money by using nitrogen in my tires? In most cases, yes. But how can there possibly be a savings if you don't get significantly better miles per gallon, longer tire life, and so on? Easy. No water or oil. Most drivers don't know that all air compressors heat the air as it's being compressed, which leads to condensation in cool air lines and equipment. The higher the humidity, the more water there is in the air being compressed. The natural humidity in air is what leads to compressor tanks and air hoses full of water. My point? Well, if there's water in the airline, then water will wind up inside your tires when you adjust tire pressure. This has become a problem because all newer cars have tire pressure monitoring systems, or TPMS. Most tire pressure monitoring systems use electronic sensors mounted to the wheel inside the tire to measure pressure and then they send a radio signal to a central computer which controls a warning light. Naturally, because the sensors are electronic, they don't like water. Think of dropping your phone in the toilet. Yet millions of drivers and technicians routinely pump water into tires. Water from poorly maintained air compressors, which once inside your tires, slowly destroys the TPMS sensors, leading to a big repair bill. But by adding completely dry nitrogen to your tires, you eliminate all the water and prolong the life of your tire pressure monitoring sens sensors. That could mean a savings of several hundred dollars over time. The same scenario goes for the oil that lubricates the compressor's internal parts. If the compressor isn't properly maintained, oil will work its way into the airlines and right into your tires, where it will, over time, also kill your pressure monitoring sensors. So, your true savings with nitrogen is over the long haul and comes from longer equipment life rather than just more miles per gallon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Goss's Garage on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, and for more car tips, tricks, and money saving ideas, visit goss garage.com. Drive gently. See you next time, right here in Goss's Garage.